Hello and welcome to an FPGA Vision video. It is September 2019 and our remote lab is now online for about 600 days. So in this video I want to give you a quick overview about um, some statistics for the remote lab, the current status and the plans we have for the future. You always find current information about our project on our website. And uh, here's the news section of the project. We don't update the content every day, so you might want to use an update scanner. I have an add-on for Firefox, but uh, you can also use other options for this purpose. We monitor the usage of our remote lab and uh, overall we had more than 2000 experiments. If we take aside demo users and uh, the admin team, then that leaves us with 850 experiments by users and by students. And of these, um, 600 have been done with the more modern Cyclone 5 FPGA and uh, 250 with the Cyclone 4. Here you get an overview about uh, which countries use the remote lab. Most of the accesses come from Germany. This includes uh, administration accesses, but uh, we had usages from about 30 different countries on all continents. So we were happy about that. We had users from Argentina, United States, from France and Spain from uh, the Ukraine and also from some countries that yeah, you can't really see on the, on the map here, like uh, United Arab Emirates, uh, Dominican Republic and um, from Bosnia Herzegovina, to name just a few. We monitor the availability of our remote lab with uh, the free option of the Uptime Robot service. Uh, this is active um, since uh, May last year so for about 500 days now. Um, two days each year in September are reserved for maintenance and um, this is announced on our news site and uh, taking that aside we have uh, an availability of 99.75% which uh, we are very proud of. So um, our remote lab has a very high availability. Also we are happy that um, the lectures and the remote lab has been uh, used in courses at partner universities. Of course, we have our own students at our university, Hochschule bonn rhein sieg here in Germany. But uh, in addition, the course has been adapted by the Universidad Nacional de San Luis in Argentina and in Cherniv by the Ukrainian National University of Technology. With our students from Germany and with students from the partner universities in Argentina and Ukraine, we made an evaluation with a questionnaire. We asked several questions and here is just uh, an excerpt. First we asked, the university can offer remote labs and hands-on lab, what is a good distribution? And um, two-thirds of the students agreed that you can replace some of hands-on lab uh, with remote labs some students only wished remote labs to be additional. So that signifies uh, a good acceptance of remote labs. You can perform different experiments with the laboratory and learn different things. And also we asked students what they liked. And students especially liked image processing and seeing a real world application. Power consumption and using different FPGAs was also interesting, but not um, on, of that high interest as the first two topics. You find more details in a scientific paper that we publish here. For the future, we have several things on our agenda. We will implement a second site for the remote lab so that you have uh, even higher availability of the FPGA experiments. Um, then there are further lectures that will come about uh, another image processing algorithm and uh, we will visit several conferences and have uh, presentations, uh, demos um, and so on. You find a list um, at our website. You can use the lectures and the remote lab whenever you like to, but in May and June we will have an open online course so that you will have uh, the opportunity to um, perform the experiments and uh, exchange your ideas with other students. So you are invited to uh, participate and uh, also news will be on our website. 
Yeah, that's the status. Um, we are having several things on our list. We are um, actively maintaining the remote lab and we're happy um, if the system can be useful for you. Thank you very much.